Last year was where the confidence resides. This year, we're gold digging. It's Saturday, my A one day ones. So, um, I apologize if I look super, super orange. The lights in my bathroom, I have not fixed yet. So y'all know if you guys have watched the previous vlog, I switched out all the light fixtures. I have not done it in my bathroom yet because I just haven't. So if I look a little orange, forgive me, it's just because I haven't switched it out. But I am getting ready to go to brunch with my friends. Um, I'm about to do a really cute little green outfit with this little blue I got. It is so, so, so cute, y'all. So um, I am getting dressed right now. So I wanted to come and I wanted to show y'all what I have. Oh, now the light is better. I don't know, y'all. Just go with the but anyway, so I wanted to show y'all some new things that I bought at the mall yesterday because as of recently, and I have to be honest, um, I was never like a fragrance girl. Like I was never the girl who just like had all the fragrances, went in Bath and Body Works and went crazy. That was never me, I'm gonna be honest. I grew up as a tomboy. So um, I didn't start wearing purses until the 11th grade. And the only reason I did is because I had got my first job and I needed to be able to like put stuff in my my little bag or whatever. So I was just like, oh, I don't want to carry a purse. But since then I have become not super, super girly because I'm still a tomboy at heart. Prime example, yesterday I got the new iPhone 13 and this was the only color they had left. Y'all, I was blow. I definitely wanted black or like that green. My last phone was the 11 and I had like the green. I just, I don't know, I'm weird. I like, I don't like super bright colors, but, I, but I'm but i trying to learn to know, you know, like, I guess become more girly, quote unquote. But anyway, I'm saying all that to say, back to the fragrances. So as of lately, I have been super into fragrances and just different smells and like basically trying to learn what goes best with my body. So um, I'm gonna show you some of the ones I've already had and then I'm gonna show y'all my new ones. So. This one, um, I got this from Tweezy for my birthday. This is Irresistible by um, Givenchy. I kind of like it. It's, it's got a nice scent to it. I'm not there yet where I can tell y'all if it's floral or whatever the smell is. Like, I'm literally not there yet, so I'm not even gonna do all that. But then Chance, this is one I bought myself. This is like um, uh, super like popular, so this is one of the ones I love. Um, my friend Shanteria, she bought me this one. This is like YSL. Um, I'm not sure which one this is, but I had that. My other best friend, um, she bought me this one. This is from Givenchy, and y'all can see I wore this one out. Um, and then this one right here. This is my Bond. This is probably the more expensive one that I have in this collection, but it has a really, really nice scent, so I love it. So those are the ones I had to sit y'all down. Now let's get into my new babies. So, boom. This one is Ebony Woods from Zara. So I just bought this, y'all, and um, I like the smell. I wore it for the first time last night and I mixed it with my Givenchy um, Irresistible. So I mixed those two and it was a pretty good scent. I feel like it stayed on all night. So I love that. This is the latest one I bought as well, Jimmy Choo Floral. And I have not opened it yet because I'm gonna save this for when I go out of town because I just love it, y'all. I feel like it's giving, it just gave like this just beautiful, like I don't know, if you guys have this one, let me know in the comments. Now, the, I did buy, okay, so I went in there looking for, I just wanted to see like a nice good smell that I could get and um, the lady who helped me, she was like, girl, you need to get this, it's so popular. So I ended up buying this. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand before, but it is uh, Perfumes de Marley and it's in Delilah and y'all, I can smell this one out the box. Like literally I put it on my nightstand um, when I the other night when I got home and I literally was smelling it out the box. I was confused. I was like, oh my goodness. So. Um, 
I'm excited. Just trying to, you know, do some different things. I'm definitely not finna become one of those girls who's gonna be like, let me do this fragrance thing. Maybe once I learn like different things, cause right now I have no clue. The guy uh, um, yesterday who was helping me, he was like, do you want like a sexy scent? What kind of, um, you like fruity, you like this and that? I was like, honestly, I don't know. I said, look, just give me something that get, is giving luxury, stays on all day and giving rich. That's literally what I asked him. I said, I want that's how I want to smell, honey. So um, this is what this is what he recommended when I told him what I wanted. So um, yeah. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to finish getting dressed and then I'm about to head out. Our friends just text me and they're like, um, have you left yet? I have not even done my makeup. So let me just go ahead and do that. We have a jam packed day today because we will be helping Sierra with her shoot for her business. So yes, let's stay tuned and we gonna have a good Sunday, y'all. Whew. Okay guys, so I am headed to brunch. This is a new spot. Um, I think it's called Love at First Brunch and it's off of Jonesboro Road, um, which is like kind of like, it's like closer to downtown Atlanta. So, um, anywho, while I'm on the way there, I wanted to come in and talk to y'all. So, before we decided to go to brunch, I was going to roll up on my couch and watch P Valley. So, um, and you know what? I just thought about it. I'm supposed to be showing y'all how my couch look. I said in the next vlog, y'all going to see my couch. Light. Then at the next one, turn right. So, anyway, um, remind me, y'all, to do that as soon as I get back home. But look. So then they was like, let's go out. So speaking of P-Valley, so my, me and my friends got into a whole argument. So I'm not, this is not a spoiler alert, y'all. Um, everybody who has heard of P-Valley should know this. So this is not a spoiler. But one of the characters, one of the main characters is gay or down low under, under the cover gay. And um, me and my friends are going back and forth because recently a uh, episode that came out he had a real explicit scene, and if you guys have seen the episode, y'all would know what I'm talking about. So my friends feel like he could be bisexual. And I'm like, what makes him bisexual? They was like, well, the kind of scene he did, I feel like he would be bisexual. And I said, I feel like, and this is my right. opinion. Use the right lane to merge on State Route 400 South. And this is my opinion. So y'all let me know what y'all think. But in my opinion, I feel like when acting is life. You know how people have like things that, you know, that is their ultimate right. goal in life is to be an actor. Their ultimate goal in life is to be a mom. Their ultimate goal in life is to be a ball player. I mean, people have like aspirations and stuff. So um, I feel like I don't think he's gay at all. First of all, he is married and he has a wife. Um, and I feel like he is doing what he has to do to become who he wants to become, which inevitably is an amazing actor. I don't think he's bi. And my friends are going in because they're just like, nobody's going to do that. I don't care. Like, um, like as a man, you shouldn't even consider or like, you know, do something like that, no matter what your job In title is. Miles. And I understand that. South completely my, if y'all if i didn't know where i was going i would turn this off but i'm literally confused so um i was just like um yeah i understand that but at the same time people do stuff all the time for clout like purposes or things that are not even like they're not even getting paid yet to do it and they doing it i said i feel like people do stuff and if he wants to be an actor he i'm sure before he signed up for their role on P-Valley. I'm sure they talked about all things that um, are gonna entail in that type of role. I'm sure they talked about it. I'm sure they said, you're gonna do some explicit scenes with men. How do you feel like th about that? Your uh, wife, ooh, ooh. I'm sure he had a whole conversation with his wife and said, do you want me to do this? Like, this is an opportunity. And I feel like they prayed about it or talked about it. And she said, you gotta go for your dreams, baby. Because at the end of the day, like, 
maybe he felt like this was the only opportunity he was gonna get this huge to be on a nationally syndicated show and people would be able to see the um, P Valley. Maybe he thought he wouldn't get anything bigger than this. So in his mind, he like, heck yeah, I'ma do those type of scenes. We don't know, but I, to call him gay or say he's bisexual, I just think that's a reach. I feel like women, we see women um, dating women and eating women out. Women, I mean, it's the same kind of stuff that goes on for women, but we don't I'm say that right. those women are gay. Like, we don't be saying, oh, she's gay. You know what I'm saying? So, I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel in the comments because I found that to be very crazy that they were saying that. And I was like, dang. I was like, and they was like, well, do you take everything face value? Like, do you believe everything somebody tell you? And I was like, no, but at the same time, I also am not gonna, um, my bad y'all, this lip gloss, lip gloss be getting sticky. But I, no, I don't believe everything somebody tells me, but at the same time, I'm not gonna sit up here and say, oh, I, I know for a fact he gay because he did that kind of scene. Like, that's weird. Like, I hate when people try to, try to say they just know who somebody is or what somebody is because of what they partake in. Some people just really want to be seen and be heard and they're living in their dream. So anyway, y'all comment below. Tell me what y'all think. I'm gonna see you guys when we get to the restaurant. Hey y'all, love it. First bite. Thought it was love at first brunch, but it's not. I guess it's the way you walk in. Hey y'all, we made it and this is what the menu looks like. So this area is so nice and quaint. Um, I think this is super, super cute. Love this outside area right here. So um, I'm about to go ahead and order and then I'm gonna come back to y'all once I know what I got. As you can see, our other friends are in here. So. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, sorry, you can put it right okay. there. Double eggs. Wow. Enjoy, guys. Oh, thank you. Sorry about this. It looks great. No, you good. This looks fantastic. Wow. Like I said, this is looking so good, y'all. This is like the cinnamon roll sandwich. I cannot wait to try it. I got one too. Oh, this right here. This is it. That looks really good. Close your fingers, though. couch came and my rug so we finally have our couch y'all and I when I say y'all I am in love I am in love so disclaimer these are from my old apartment and my old couch these are going bye bye um, I am still trying to decide what cover I'm going to buy to replace these cow covers so stay tuned for that. Right now, I'm thinking a pop of color. So maybe like a green, but um, this is what we have so far, y'all. Sorry, I was filming in here the other day and you guys are gonna see that soon, so stay tuned for that. But this is what everything looks like now. This rug, I 
Oh, ooh, y'all love this rose. The only thing I don't like is I didn't know there was little gold splotches in there, but that's okay. It actually doesn't look bad and it still goes with my overall theme. So right now, this is what we got, y'all. It is looking so good in here. So this over here, I have to finish adding to this. This is just here for now because I write in this journal, but I just bought these three girlfriends from Amazon. So that's, you know, what I got so far. And then I still need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sound bar and all of this stuff put together on my wall. If y'all have any suggestions, let me know because I really want something nice and cool to go here. So if y'all can give me any suggestions of like what I could do, just let me know y'all because I, I have to figure this out. This looks so ugly. This is my hallway area right here. Um, so I ordered um, two frames to go here and I'm gonna put my pictures up. So y'all will see that sometime um, probably later on this week or next week when I put that up. And then I did order me a rug to go here. It may go here or I may put it right here down this hall. I still have to find something to go on this wall here because over here on this wall, I have these up. So um, that's how things are looking so far, y'all. I just wanted to come in and update y'all on my home and how things are looking so far. So um, yes, y'all, this is my little area and I love it. Tell me what y'all think. Um, even though it took so long for this couch to come, I'm gonna be honest, y'all, I'm happy because I, I'm in love. So um, I have been waist training all day, y'all, because I'm getting ready to go out of town soon and I need my waist to be on flat flat. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just supporting a fellow black queen, Pretty Hustle. I am wearing her um, waist trainer today, y'all. And look, body, listen, body finna be right. Let me show y'all what I'm about to eat. This is my meal. I um, Uber Eats. I did Uber Eats and I got this from Big Catch. So um, this is um, salmon and broccolini and then I have this rice. So I'm about to eat this, y'all. I know the rice is not good for me for what I'm trying to do, but um, I plan on just like eating really clean this week. Like tr I'm gonna try to stay away from red meat. I'm just gonna do seafood. So I'm gonna probably do salmon, salmon, some crab legs or something like that. But I'm just trying my best to just kind of do this this week because I need my stomach to be gone, honey.